In this video, I will show you how to configure single sided VPC with Windows Server using NIC teaming. OK, so this is our lab topology. We have two Nexus switches NX1 and NX2. OK, this NX1 will be the primary and NX2 will be the secondary. The peer link will be E slash E1 slash 1 and E1 slash 2. And the port channel for the peer link will be port channel 1. The keep alive link will be the management interface. This side we're going to configure 10111 IP and this side we're going to configure 10112 IP. Okay. And the VPC domain will be 1. And this side we have Windows Server 2016 and we're going to configure NIC teaming for these two interfaces to make Ether channel with these two interfaces. Okay. We call them NIC teaming. NX1 will play the role of primary and NX2 will play the role of secondary. We're going to set the priority 20 to NX1 and 30 to NX2. I already told you peer link will be 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2. Keep alive link will be the management one and these are the management IP addresses. VPC domain will be 1 and peer link port channel will be 1. However, member port channel will be 10 this side. Member port channel 1 slash 3 and 1 slash 3 will be a 10 okay and server port channel is uh, the server port which uh, we are gonna configure NIC teaming as E0 and E1 I'm using Windows Server 2016 the same can apply 2019 and 2012 whatever you want to use the next is image I'm using 936 okay for Eve NG so let's start to configure the next switch one let's go to our lab so I gonna start from this one and then I will use the script to configure this one because the configuration is almost the same. OK, so let me show you NX1 configuration and I will copy and paste the configuration this side. OK, so let's start. So NX1, OK, the first thing we need to change the uh, host name. So host name NX-1. Then we need to enable the feature. So feature VPC and second feature LSCP. We need these two feature to enable. We need enable these two feature. We need to configure interface management zero IP address. So IP address 10.1.1 slash 30 and no shutdown. Okay. And exit from here. Next VPC domain. So VPC domain, we decide one. Okay. And role this will be the priority will be 20 to make them primary and peer keep alive. A destination will be the other side IP. So let me copy this one and change the last IP and source will be my this IP and VRF will be the management. Okay. And exit from here. So this one is done. Next, we need to interface is E1 slash 1 dash 2. I'm going to configure. Let's go back this one. 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2 peer link. So let's go to these two interfaces and switch port mode trunk and spanning tree port type will be network and channel group one we decide and mode will be active and no shutdown now after that the peer link we configure make them as a trunk okay and also we configure port channel one so exit from here and interface port channel one go to the same port channel one and apply the same command here as well so switch port mode trunk and switch port and also the spanning tree one and finally type here VPC peer link that these are the peer link and no shutdown. So peer link is configured. OK. Next, we need to configure the member port. So let me exit from here. Interface E1 slash 3. Let me verify this is 1 slash 3. Yes, this one member. OK. So let's go back now member port one slash three and type channel group 10 and mode active 
because we decide it will be port channel 10 okay and no shutdown under the physical interface now i need to go to port channel 10 interface port channel 10 which we just created okay and under there type no shutdown and switch port and switch port mode a trunk and vpc the same number 10 okay you can give them any other number but keep them the same so it will be easy to troubleshoot okay and finally we are done with this one and exit so we need to do the same configuration on nexus 2 as well okay so let me go to the switch so what i can do the first thing i need to change the host name so let's go to config t host name nx-2 and then we need to enable the feature feature vpc and feature lscp feature lscp okay so we need to enable this one after that i need to configure the management so management zero and ip address 10.1.1.2 slash 30 and no shutdown okay and after the management interface okay so i need to go to here and show running vpc and let me copy the same thing here okay and you can use a notepad and here we say it will be 30 and this will become 1 and this will become 2 and exit so we need to configure domain okay let's go to here after the domain we need to configure the peer link okay so let me go to here and show running interface e1 slash 1 so this is the configuration we need to copy and let's go here and paste however we have two interfaces two okay switch port mode trunk spanning tree uh, port type network and channel group uh, this one okay and let me type no shutdown as well okay and next i need the port channel as well port channel one configuration so let me copy this one because it will be the same on both side yeah so interface port channel one switch port mode trunk this one and these are the peer link and no shutdown and exit and let me copy this one and need to apply on the other switch as well okay so apply this one and till that time let's go to the so this one is done show running and we have interface e1 slash 3 as well sorry and i need to copy this configuration as well okay and no shutdown and similarly the port channel 10 for this configuration so port channel 10 okay and let me copy and let's go to here and no shutdown okay because the configuration on both switches almost same okay so that's why i copy and paste here so this configuration is done and let me copy the same port member configuration okay let's see and we are done almost so after that we're gonna do the verification and then we're gonna configure switch side so let me ping 10.1.1 and VRF management. Yes, I can ping the other side. So this is the first verification. Show VPC. So yes, VPC is okay. SSX pool is alive and everything is okay. And now we need to check uh, show port channel summary. So we have this one is okay, but the other side is suspended. It's okay because once actually we haven't configured this server side. So
so both side it will show that is suspended but it's okay so let's go to here and verify so it will also so this one is okay but this one is suspended it's okay so let's go to our server okay and let's configure nic teaming here so let me click on local server and here you're gonna see nic teaming okay click on this disable one and go to here the teams and there is a task and click new team give them any name suppose lacp l a c p you can give them any name by the way and two interfaces which is these two interfaces okay i make them as a nic teaming click on additional properties and switch independent we will discuss these anyway i will choose lacp you can choose static as well both will work and load balancing dynamic leave it and click ok okay and let's see after a while it is showing red but it's okay it will take some time and then it will become green because the other side we already configured it it's see active and green okay and yeah both are active now and previously it was so suspended yeah let's verify again and now sp previously it was a suspended similarly on this side it was showing s now it's p so now everything is okay and now this one is active and active and they will create another interface here by the way a logical interface so if we go to the interfaces uh, change adapter setting here is we give them lacp and this way it will give you more bandwidth yeah s2 yeah previously if you check this one is 1 gb and this one is 1 GB, but they combine them and now it's 2 GB. Okay, and this is the detail. And you can assign IP and whatever you like. I'm not interested in that one, just to show you. So IPv6 disable. And here, if you want to assign them any IP. Okay, just for the sake of understanding. And we are done, okay okay after a while it will take the ip address disable and make them enable so this is the way now we have more than one interface it's here one dot hundred ip is assigned so we configure nic teaming this side and this side is showing that everything is okay and for this server it says that i'm connected to single device but actually it's connected to two different devices we have two door we can use any of these okay so this is the beauty of vpc so we configure them let's go down if i miss something okay so we check and verify okay and after that lacp and dynamic and then we verify as green okay and then we go there and similarly on the switch side you can use show feature show vpc brief show running configuration vpc port channel statistics role and other stuff okay and we check show ether channel summary so it's it's okay and also on the other side we check out okay and then we check here and everything is okay that's it okay and show vpc i show you these one as well and show vpc peer keep alive if you want to check so these are the verification command and it's properly working so this is the way to configure a single sided vpc with server so this server can be any device which support a port channel or port aggregation so we test one switch and then we test one server